Uh, good morning, YouTube. What difference a day makes? As you can see, the uh, snow has mostly gone away. It's still hanging on a little bit, but nothing like yesterday. It's all off, of, all off the car. And uh, even though it is cold out there, I think 14, something like that, uh, the sun has, you know, done its job and melted the snow. So that's good. All right, it's time to get something done, so let me get started. Welcome to another exciting episode of Doug's Electronic Repair Bench. I'm back in the shop again. You do gotta have uh, a mess, as you can see. Let me clean some of this up real quick, like. Get that out of the way. Uh, I did take the uh, dial off of that last night. Um, this just doesn't seem to be well. I mean, it, it's it's good that it's slow, but it's very. Uh, not sure what the word I'm. It's like a gear reduction. It's like a. But anyway, I think there's a lot of uh, grease leaking out of that. I've got it on here. Got it on here, which will be cleaned up. But. Uh, I wanted, I wanted to clean behind here, clean, take the knobs off, clean all that, and uh, do that. Also, I got the uh, drill casing out of the uh, solution, and it is very nice and clean. I am very pleased with that. I'm going to take a little close-up of that. Let's just see just how well it did clean. All right, now you can see. If I can, yeah, you can see down in there pretty good. Yeah, that looks nice. Very nice. I think what I'm going to do is scrape all this old paint off. And maybe repaint it gray before I put it back together. I have the uh, the uh, wired uh, stator armature, whatever you want to call this thing, soaking. It's a uh, it's coming out, but it's slow going. I'm gonna have to take the brush to it too a little bit and get that clean. I've got a couple more parts I need to soak in there. Before I try to do something with that solution, I don't know what I can do with it. I don't know if I can recover any of that or not. But uh, anyway, this is just what my world looks like this morning. And uh, like I said, there's you can see the dirt on top of there, and that whole thing just needs to be cleaned really good. Uh, like I said, the parts for the to replace this uh, will be in today, and maybe I'll get that done. I did want to show you this though. I thought this was looking pretty good, and uh, I, I really want to get this done. Like I said, this was my father's bill, and I kind of like to have it uh, fixed back up. I think I want to take and scrape all this old paint off, and maybe try to paint this gray or silver, and uh, the the front of it the same way. And uh, I think as good as it's turning out, I think uh, it should turn out really nice. I hope, but. Uh, yeah, I'm very pleased with that. Very pleased. There's a few places that uh, didn't come out real good, but not overall, it's great. So I don't know about this. This part this is this uh, gonna need some brushing for sure. Okay. Oh, 
the ground looking so I can get Rinse this off. Let's see what we got. Alright, that's done. I think I had another piece in there. Oh, shoot the bed, friend. See what else we got to soak here. Oh, that head unit I know needs soaking. <laughs> I think it's laying right here, if I'm not mistaken. Yep. Oh, I know one thing more that needs to be cleaned. I don't think it needs to be soaked. Though, but I, I get confused on the, the terms for this stuff. I know the bro the brush is strike. That's the commentator. I do know that. Uh, but stator, armature, armature stator, whatever. Uh, I'm looking to see if it had a, a washer on it. I don't think it does. Oh, yes, there is a washer. Ah, good. That's good. Uh, that's what I want to know. What about on the front? Yep, the one on the front too. Good. This doesn't really look in too bad a shape. I think it'll clean out pretty easy. Brushes are easy to clean. I usually use an eraser or something like that to clean those, or the brushes, the commutator. So, now these plastic pieces are really not in too bad a shape, but I guess they could use a little soaking. Oh, I got some room there. So, let that part soak. And, all right, I think that's about it for this. I uh, I get that stuff all over me. I don't know how I do that. Just because it's dirty. Anyway. I don't think the... Uh, Finding a cord for that, I don't know about that. The rest of it shouldn't be hard. I've got, like I said, grease to go back into the head of it where it needs to be. I'm not sure how come that grease got out and put it got into the rest of the drill, but I guess over that many years, maybe that just happens, I guess. But like I said, this thing should run about a thousand times better, I would think. I need to clean that uh, shaft up a little bit around where the bearing runs. That one's pretty pretty well clean there. On the back needs a little bit of cleaning, it looks like. I'm going to go get dirty again. 
Alright, that's it for this. So, you guys, uh, I probably won't make any more videos today. I, I'm making too many videos, and, and I know I am. But, you know, same time, I enjoy doing it. So, you guys have a great day. Thanks for watching.